Hey guys, and welcome back to the Hey Jessica channel. Today, I'm going to teach you what you need to do after you've uploaded a YouTube video. So we all know that it's really just a matter of setting up a YouTube channel and uploading, but honestly, there's so much more that goes into it. There's tagging and titles and thumbnails and all of these things. So I wanna show you my process of what I do as soon as I upload a video and how I optimize it straight from the get-go. So first things first, I actually use TubeBuddy to do a lot of my after upload actions. So if you want the link to that, it is below this video and I'll link to um, previous videos I've done on TubeBuddy above. Okay, so first of all, once you've uploaded, you want to go ahead and create a custom thumbnail. What I do is I go through the video and I grab a screen grab of the video itself, like from the video, and then I pull it into Photoshop into a template I already have made and I create a thumbnail. You can actually do this in Canva or basically wherever you wanna do it. Now, I do intentionally start every video with like a weird 20 second like pause where I'm like posing and doing things to like make sure I have a good like screenshot uh, <laughs> for my video. But you can totally just grab a video of you talking, maybe you talk with your hands and you're doing something like this and whatever. So um, be intentional about it and grab a screen grab from your video to create the thumbnail and make a really eye-catching but on-brand thumbnail. Okay, the second thing you wanna do after you've uploaded is you want to optimize the title in a way that is going to be search-worthy and will help people find your video more. Now, I've heard a lot of people talk about how they, they think of this title before they even record the video so they can say the title in the same way they're going to title it in the video. And I don't really go that far. You, if I had to plan things out that much, I would never get it done. So what I do is I come up with the topics and I come up with a running title, essentially, something that I think people would search for, something that I think would be good, and then I go in and search for it on YouTube and Google keywords. So I use a Google keyword title generally for my blog, so it's better on Google itself. And then I go into YouTube and do a search for how people might be searching for it on YouTube. So then I title the YouTube video that way. So for instance, this video you're watching right now is essentially like what to do when you upload a video. But I'm probably not going to title it that way. What I'm going to title it is something along the lines of how to optimize your YouTube videos, how to be found in search, or how to rank higher on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. Like something in that nature. I haven't quite decided yet, and see, that's, that's also to my point. I don't plan things out super meticulously because I don't feel like I need to I need to do that it stifens me creatively but um, I will plan that out and come up with a really good title to go along with my video and my blog post after I've uploaded okay so that's number two you want to pick a title that is relevant to your video you don't want clickbait or anything like that but you also want it to be search friendly and keyword friendly so then you want to think about what tags you want to add to your video. Now tags are essentially what is telling YouTube how to find you in search and how to place your video in related videos when it comes to someone else's video. So for instance, if I just had the tag YouTube or something like that, it's not going to tell YouTube anything. Everybody has the tag YouTube, right? So when someone searches YouTube, the odds of me coming up are pretty darn slim and it doesn't have any clue what I'm talking about. So what I would want to do is say how to optimize YouTube videos, how to rank your videos higher or something like that. I would use tags that will get me found in search, will match my title so it increases that likelihood that I'm found in search and will have me showing up as the related video for someone else's video on that same or similar topic, which is super important because that's where a lot of the traffic to your YouTube channel comes from. The other thing I do is I go in and I 
insert cards and end screens in my video. So a card is anything that you see pop across your screen at the top that might say, you know, something related, or if I'm talking about Trello, it might pop up and say that I have a cool Trello video or whatever. It's a card that essentially makes people want to stay on YouTube longer. And even if they're getting bored with my current video, they can click the card and like go somewhere else. And I'm still looking good in YouTube's eyes because I'm keeping them on YouTube. An end screen is essentially the same thing. If they make it to the end of the video, I want to give them more and more content to be able to peruse and go through because I want them to be able to stay on my channel as long as they possibly can and view more and more and more of my content. So an end screen essentially allows them to subscribe or watch my most recent or most relevant video. Okay, and so the last thing I do after I've uploaded a video is I actually go in and use TubeBuddy to schedule the publishing. I do this a little bit differently and use TubeBuddy because if you upload to scheduled on your YouTube channel or upload to private on your YouTube channel, which you can then change to scheduled, nobody else can access the video through that link. And I have a team of people who go through and um, write my blog post to accompany the video and do some other things that I need to be able to access the video. So I, when you upload to unlisted, you actually can't change that to scheduled after the fact. But what you can do is use TubeBuddy to schedule from TubeBuddy. So that's what I do. I upload as unlisted so my team can access my videos and then I use TubeBuddy to actually publish and schedule the publish. So once that's done, I just schedule all of my social media and get everything ready to go out on the day that the video goes live so that everything will, you know, kind of happen automatically. Okay, so that is all I do. Really, that's all I do um, to upload a video. And I actually have a brand new freebie for you guys that's basically an entire e-guide or ebook for creating your YouTube channel and how to set it up for success. So this whole book is going to show you how to set up your YouTube channel, how to set it up correctly, how to get everything running, and then how to actually set it up for success so it actually works to your advantage. To grab that, you wanna click on the link below this video and then you can grab that and go learn and go do and all the things. Okay, so until next time, make sure you hit subscribe because I want you coming back for all my goodness. So hit subscribe. Do it, do it now, please, please, please. What if I begged you, please? And then come back for more and more nerdy business tips with me. Until next time, bye y'all.